Welcome to Data Factory. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at data pipelines. With data pipelines, you can build complex workflows that can refresh your data flow, move petabyte-sized data, and define sophisticated control flows, enabling powerful workflow capabilities at cloud scale. Now let me walk you through and show you what data pipelines are all about. Let's start by creating a new data pipeline. After you land in the Fabric Data Factory experience, click New and then Data Pipeline to create a new data pipeline. Set a name and click Create. This will now take you into the pipeline editor. Here you'll see three cards in the center to help you get started. With add pipeline activity, you can begin to design your pipeline with any of the 25 plus built-in activities. These are grouped in categories to help you find what you're looking for, like control flow, orchestrate, notifications, and more. On the right-hand side, you'll see choose a task to start. This opens a template gallery where you can choose from a variety of scenarios to help you get started quickly. Now Copy Data in the Center kicks off the Copy Assistant to help you migrate your data through an easy-to-follow guided process. Let's use it and copy some data. The first step is to choose your data source either from the 30 plus connectors available or from a variety of sample data sets. I'm going to use the Retail Data Sample data set. Click Next, and now you can connect to and preview your data before moving forward. Once you've selected your data, Click Next to set the data destination and choose where to land your data. Let's select Lake House. Now you have the option to create a new Lake House or select from an existing one. Let's create a new one and set a name. Once we're done, click Next. Then you can customize your destination by renaming the table or updating the column mappings. Once everything looks good, We'll click Next to finalize everything. Now on a final step, you have two options. If you want to continue to design your pipeline, uncheck the Start Data Transfer Immediately button to be taken back to the Pipeline Editor. Otherwise, hit Save and Run to manually run your pipeline right away. Let's go ahead and do that. As your pipeline is running, you'll be able to see the activity statuses in the Output tab. This way, you can keep an eye on your pipeline. Looks like this pipeline ran successfully. Let's double check and make sure our data is in our lake house. With multitasking in Microsoft Fabric, you can easily navigate between resources all in one screen. Now that I'm in my lake house, check it out. All of my data is here. Now we can go back to our pipeline, where we can continue to build out a workflow by adding new activities, either from the arrow button found on our copy activity or from the activities banner at the top of your screen. You can also navigate to other tabs, including Run, which shows you different pipeline run options, and View, which allows you to look at the pipeline code or adjust the view of your editor. Last thing to note is that you can set your pipeline to run on a schedule. Under the Schedule button on the Home tab, or found in the Run tab, you can access the pipeline scheduler and set your preferences by the minute, hourly, daily, weekly, and then you can set the start time, the end date, and the time zone. With this quick intro to data pipelines, I hope you can see how powerful and easy to use data pipelines are. I hope this video is helpful for you in getting started and stay tuned for more.